So All right, Nicholas, what's going on? So you've had it for a week now. Yeah. So how does it feel? It feels really, it, I, I forget it's on my face now, so other than when people come up, up to me at conferences and they go, hey. <laughs> but it's, it's disappeared, it's a screen up here, it's fairly lightweight, I don't notice it on me anymore. It, for the first two days, it felt like there was a bug on my glass, you know, because when it's not on, there's a out of, out of focus a glass a piece right here. And so I, it bothered me, it's like, uh, you know, but now I, my eye got used to it. So. so you've been looking forward to this moment, right? Yeah. For well, we've been talking about it for yeah. what, a year? A year and a half. Yeah. Excellent. So, Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Is there, what do you think the market is going to say? Is, gonna, every, is everybody going to say, this is awesome? Um, some people, I'm having two responses, <laughs> and I think the response really depends on price. You saw that when I asked the question yeah. at, the, at the next comp here where I showed it off, yeah. that a few people said they would buy it without qual qualifications. Then when we said, well, what about if it was under $500 and a few more hands went up, what if it was $200 and almost every hand went up? So I, I think it'll do well in the market, but it'll take time and it'll take time for some killer apps to appear, other than you know the ones that Google already built, to uh, prove that there's some utility here. Because the more utility there is, the more the sales will go. Which up. are the killer apps that you might know about a little bit? Like, is it like I, Yelp, Monocle, or something like that? Some kind of a... No, it, it does not do augmented reality. So Yelp Monocle is an a augmented reality that shows you information on top of the world. It does not do augmented reality. They don't want to do it? No, it, they made a design choice. It's not in between you and the world. It's a, a display above you, it's above. A dashboard. Dashboard. It, it's, it's a not, dashboard. It's not the actual road. It's not in your view, right? So it's up here, and it, you have to look up at it. But you can still have some kind of like uh, augmented stuff, but without some the lightweight. Stuff. For instance, the map that's built in there. As you turn your head, it turns the map to show you where you're looking. And so that's sort of augmented, but it's not what I, what you and I think of augmented reality, like what Matteo does or what, you know. So, so we haven't seen the apps yet? No, that there's Path. There's one app that I have, Path, and then I have uh, Gmail coming in, and I have Google Calendar coming in, and um, yeah, texting, you know, the usual lightweight stuff. There's no Facebook yet, there's no Twitter, no Waze or anything like that. When you look at this, uh, do you think you were looking at Android 5? Uh, no, I, I, I think of this like the Apple II. I, you know, it's the beginning of a new age and we're seeing a new, really interesting product, but one that doesn't have a lot of utility beyond what's shipping yet. So it'll be interesting to see what shows up between now and it shipping to the public because a lot of developers have these. So there'll be a, I would assume thousands of apps. I mean, 3,000 developers bought them at Google I.O. So let's say half of them built an app. That's a lot of apps, a few thousand apps. You just need one kill application to yeah. justify wearing it. The whole yeah. thing, right? I, I think it already is there for me. I'm not going to take. I'm not going to take them off. And I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a wearable computer on every day of my life now. You could just fold and put them in, the, in your bucket, or they don't. They, they come in a little case. They don't, they don't fold. fold. Not this version. The version yes. that ships, they said, will be more foldable. Fold. So you just put it in buckets, so you don't actually really have to wear them all the time. Uh, I would, I do. I've never, I haven't taken them off yet. So other than to let people try them on, because I'm just planning to do a little video. Oh, okay. Just cool. one meter like that. You actually said that there are two posts now on Google Plus. Yep. You, you for sure never gonna take them off. Yep. Something like other than to let other people use them, <laughs> like he's using them. You might change to the Apple one when it comes out. It depends which one. Apple better, or right? Facebook or Facebook? Amazon or you know Microsoft is working on one, but I, I you know Microsoft. Just doesn't know anything about me. I, Amazon knows what I buy. Facebook knows my friends and my connection to people. Uh, Google knows my search, my maps, my email, my calendar, uh, and a few other things, right? And uh, what, who else knows something? Apple sort of knows me. They have my credit card and they know what apps I had on my I have on my iPhone and my iPad. Um, and they sort of know me if I route my information through their apps. But increasingly, I was started ripping out the Apple apps and started using like Tempo for the Google for a calendar instead of the instead of the Apple calendar, or I use the Gmail app for Gmail instead of the uh, Apple email client. Now most people who have an iPhone don't do that, but I did. So it's probably going to work with iPhone too. 
It does. It, uh, it does pair to the iPhone, and there's an app on the iPhone. I, it does not support yet texting or messaging, and so there's some things missing from the iPhone how, version. How many engineers do you think Google needed to get this work to work? Like um, dozens, dozens, like, dozens. It's not huge, right? No, uh, dozens. But do you think this is the future? Like uh, it's going to be bigger than than advertising search and all that? The Ooh, that's. Uh, that's a long ways off. Long ways off. Yeah. Not, not in the next five years. So how soon is your book? You make you write a book about something like that? Yeah, we call it the Age of Context, which isn't just about Google Glass. It's about sensors, wearable computers, big data, uh, social network data, and location data, all combining to give us highly personalized and highly anticipatory or uh, predictive systems. You know, Google Now is a great example. And with who are you writing? Uh, Shell Israel, who's a Forbes author, and uh, we're writing the book together. It should be out in uh, October 2013. Cool. So uh, that's uh, that's pretty cool. That's yeah. fun. This is cool. Steadicam is 